God, that light. That light is brutal, guys. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Um, March 10th. March 10th, I believe. Uh, so, um, I'll outline the day. Um, I went to work. It was, um, it was a good day. Um, went to work, uh, did a lot of things, uh, for my job title, and, um, you know, I'm still, I'm still having this phantom pain, weird phantom pain. Um, I don't know because my limb's getting so small now. I don't know, um, since due to the fact of the matter that we've put more padding, uh, my prosthesis more, put more padding on the sides. And, uh, what I mean by the sides is down at the base. So he put a lot more padding on there to, um, because what he found out is when he was pushing the side walls back like this to prevent the leg bone from scraping on the front of the socket, um, what was happening is at the bottom, the bottom of the leg was like doing this, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a mushroom effect. So it was actually doing this. And, um, what was happening is that I was pulling my leg out and it was sounding just like a plunger, um, freeing itself from water. So, um, he put more padding up and around it, so therefore it'd create like a, a nice cone. But, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know if that has anything to do with that. I'm sure it does, because, you know, the limb's being pressed in a different way, and that can affect the nerve endings. So, I guess it's that. Um... Just staying on my gabapentin. I'm still on gabapentin, guys. I'm still on gabapentin, uh, anacryptaline. Um, gabapentin and anacryptaline. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, gabapentin's still at 900 milligrams. Anacryptaline is uh, 50 milligrams. Uh, the gabapentin's three times a day, by the way. Anacryptaline is once at night. So um, that's, you know, that's that. Um, other than that, I mean, socket's feeling great. The adjustments that were made on Tuesday are still holding up, which is good. Um, the longer the adjustments are holding up, which is good, that means the limb is basically changing shape less. So, um, obviously as time goes by, it's going to get more easier for that in terms of not needing more adjustments or what have you. So, but... Other than that, I'm filming this right before I work out. It's about 7 p.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I figure I get on the exercise bike and try to tire myself out so I can sleep because uh, I have to work tomorrow. So um, I'm thinking I can get... I'm going to try 15 miles, maybe. Um, you know, I did get 20 miles one day. So, you know, I'm going to see... I'm going to see if I can get uh, 15, 20 miles tonight. So... Um, the goal is to eventually get back in a bike race. I may not be able to do 100 miles at first. However, I want to get back into the swing of things. So, it's all possible. But um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to talk about this before it gets uh, too long of a video. But um, what uh, basically I'm gonna I'm gonna entitle this video what what is uh, what is your drive and uh, a lot of people see me. And they say, you know, you're doing, uh, you're doing awesome, you're doing great, which I am. Um, not saying that to be ignorant, but um, I'm doing great. No, in the timeline that I'm doing, um, you know, for, it's going to be almost five months. Um, I'm walking retrospectively to the point where people cannot tell that uh, I've had an amputation. Um, however, that's taken a lot of work. And um, where, where did the drive come from? Where does the actual as the dog's making noise. Uh, where, where is the actual drive itself coming from? And all I can tell you folks is that when I was younger, if you watch the very first video, you'll see all of this, the very first episode when I originally started filming this. But when I was younger, I was through all that stuff. And um, it really, um, I follow the weightlifter called C.T. Fletcher, which you'll see in a couple of the videos if I start, you know, video episode one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I highlight his enthusiasm and what he's basically done for me. And uh, he also had something health-wise that happened, you know, um, uh, I believe it was a valve that blew out in his actual heart. And uh, he could very much well die while staying weightlifting, but he'd rather weightlift than, you know, try to sit in a chair and basically die that way. So, um, but he says in worst cases like that, where people can do stuff where people didn't think in the first place could actually be done, 
is because people are put in a position where they actually have to think and react in a way that a normal person can't think of it. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, to diss anyone, but, you know, if you're put in a circumstance where it's either life or death or you're going to sit, you're going to sit and not do anything for the rest of your life or, you know, someone just gave you a really bad health reasoning, um, you have to find a way to, you know, dig deep. Um, some, you know, you just, you have to find a way to dig deep in the order to, um, get the ball rolling again and what I can remember is that I was you know I was young and I was through so much stuff and the part you know I did I did go through an emotional phase where I did cry I got I cried I before I did all those videos you know there was there was loss and acceptance and I think for the first my operation was on October but uh July, August were pretty much the, the worst months for me because I, you know, I blew up my knee. I had to recover from it. And then we went to the doctors and every single doctor pretty much told me you're not going to do anything that you did before. And that I was extremely angry um, for someone to say, by the way, your ankles are failing. And um, <laughs> by the way, all the stuff that you just found enjoyment in doing after that, you just fought so hard when you were a child. You're not going to be able to do those again. And that made me extremely angry, and it turned me to the point, you know, I didn't, I didn't ever stay angry about it. Um, I, I turned around to a positive, so to speak. I took that anger and basically channeled it to the point where, um, and this sounds extremely cocky, so to speak, in retrospect, but I wanted to be the person that actually went back to those doctors and say, look what I'm doing now, you're wrong. Um, that's that's where all this channel comes from and when I was younger I was you know my parents were told he's never gonna do this he's never gonna do that and that's gonna be impossible and impossible to me is just not an option um, can't in retrospect in some settings is not is not an option either um, you have to you have to constantly dig deep and look in yourself and find you know, in the order for you to do this, they say the majority of this is mental. And I truly think to a point as well um, that it's, you know, it's it's the majority of it is mental. Um, we have all the technologies and whatnot that are out there to make us better. Um, you know, obviously, if we were in the 1900s and we're still, you know, sitting with sticks and what have you for prosthetics, there's, you know, there's definitely some limitations. But we have titanium. We have this. We have carbon fiber we have anything and on top of it we have different um, organizations and whatnot that are channeling the money to help people get back on their feet or hands literally and you know you have to you have to find that well you have to find that one thing that's going to get you out of bed every day um, you know it's my wife it's you know it's my job it's trying to get back on my feet and seeing if I can do it in the least amount of time obviously physically being um, being what it is. So, um, you know, and, and if I can make any recommendation for you guys right now as well, I try to leave one recommendation before I stop the video. Um, you know, doing these videos has really helped me, not because I've helped other people, but because when I would have a really bad day, just horrible, horrible bad day, and I would just sit there and go, man, geez, it feels like I'm going backwards. You can go back and you can watch these videos you can reflect on them you can go you know what today's not that bad um it's just you know another bump in the road this whole series of healing are just small bumps in the road which eventually your car is going to roll over and it's become smooth payment after you go fast enough but it's it's just a bump everything everything that you run into it can be overcome it's just the difference on how bad you need to want, want it and work for it so um I'm going to leave you on that. So we're getting about nine minutes. It's about nine minutes here. So um, as always, uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. And um, if you go ahead and like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It doesn't do anything for me. However, it does post my videos up to the top of the page. So therefore, people like you and others can see the video that we're watching maybe benefit. If you want to go ahead and subscribe to our channel, go ahead and click that button on the lower right-hand corner, which will allow you to subscribe to us. Um, but until then... Everyone have a great night and a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Bye.